Hello, I'm David Johnson, uh, Duke Energy Tools and Work Methods. And now that we've just gone through the document on the uh, personal protective grounding for distribution lines, what we have done is actually set up a simulator so that we can actually show you some ap uh, practical application of the things that you just learned in the document. What we have set up here is a simulator that actually will have a three phase line, three phase horizontal line with a neutral and we're actually able to induce the voltage onto the line uh, with, with our grounds on, is what you'll see right here. Uh, a part of the, my uh, simulator right here is we have a, um, a lineman, basically have a light bulb on it, and the light bulb is a 500 ohm resistor in it, and we basically can simulate the lineman's feet on the, on the pole, the lineman's feet on the pole, and then the lineman's hand on the conductors, working on the conductor. Okay. Um, what we have set up is right now we have a set of our current practice of the way we actually have always done grounding, and that is we bracket ground. We would put a set of worksite grounds at the source feed, and then we would set another set of grounds down with the worksite where we're actually working at, and the line would be on the pole. It was not common for us to do equipotential grounding. We did not ground the pole. And by doing so and having that in that situation right there, then what it's going to do is you're going to see that current is actually going to come down. You're going to have reduced current and then it's going to actually reduce voltage and that reduced voltage is going to uh, give you current flow and it's actually going to uh, go through to see if it goes through that line. So right now we have it simulated. We induce the voltage onto the, the line and as you can see the light will light up. This will actually simulate voltage going through alignment. Okay. Um, now, if we were to echo potential to his pole that he's on, and all that is is by putting using the cluster bracket or the four foot of number six copper attached to the pole, and we ground the pole to the same potential in the same situation with the same grounds installed, if we induce the voltage, the lineman does not light up. So he, the current flow is not going across him. Okay? Another scenario that we actually set up is we bring another, we have a lineman working on this pole, and we have a lineman who comes down to the dead end pole, and maybe he's going to uh, put, do some work down there. He's inside of these grounds, and he has his hands on the pole, and his pole is not equipotential grounded. But, but the lineman here does have an equipotential ground. And the, second, the first lineman right here, he's still equipotential grounded properly. The voltage is actually induced onto the line. And as you can see, the first lineman, he is safe. But the second lineman on down past two sets of grounds is not safe. Okay? But if we was to actually come down here and the second lineman who climbed this pole, if he were to echo potential with his pole and make his pole the same potential as the line is also, then you will see that both the linemen, as I induced the voltage, both the linemen are now safe. Okay. A standard weight work practice that we have now, the new work practice will be, is we'll remove our work site or our, our source feed grounds, and all we will need now is to set a work site grounds at the, um, the work site with our with our single point grounding, which we call single point grounding, and we'll have the work site grounds with our echo potential grounding installed. And this will be a proper way now to actually ground a pole when you're having to work on it. And as you'll see that when we induce the voltage on it, the lineman is safe. Okay. <clears throat> And then if, if the, the lineman is not equipotential grounded, single point, then the lineman is not safe. So you can see the scenario of how by just grounding your pole can make it actually safe for you to, to work. And then the last scenario we like to cover is that we talked about in the grounding document we talked about that what, by doing equipotential grounding, we do increase the step potential for the lineman on the ground or the person on the ground. So what we've done here, we actually wanted to show you 
that we've covered in our document that by when we do actually echo potential the pole, then we do increase the hazard for the person on the ground step potential down there. So we have alignment on the pole, we induce the voltage, and as you can see, the light down here at the ground on the ground actually will light up their step potential there. So this is something that we've always had. This is something that we just need to be mindful of. Even when we had pole grounds coming down the pole, whether we had a transformer, we changed our transformer, this scenario has always been there for us. So I hope that all kind of gives you a little bit better understanding of equipotential grounding. And I thank you for uh, uh, listening to this video and uh, work safe.